How is it going everybody? My name is just Jared, but you guys can just call me Jared. Welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. The launch of the update was today, is today. I hope you guys are having a good time playing. I'm having a relatively okay time. We'll talk about why I've had uh, mixed feelings at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna run through all the patch notes in this video. Yes, it probably isn't needed because everybody can read the patch notes, but this is kind of a thing that we've done on the channel every time there's patch notes. So this will be super quick as far as me talking. It might take a while because there's tons of patch notes and uh, I might um, show, share some of my thoughts throughout. But for the most part, I just want to get some kind of video out to you guys, and I will be streaming No Man's Sky next um, later after this video goes live. So um, be stay tuned for that. So update one. You know what? We're gonna skip that. We know the beginning, right? We're gonna skip the beginning. Okay. So we're going to start here. It says group up to build communal bases, farms, and racetracks, and share your creations with all players online. You explore the galaxy at your own pace or progress together from the very start of the game and all the way through the story. Invite your friends aboard your freighter and take on challenging multiplayer missions from the Galactic Commission station on your bridge. Communicate with other players vocally using a headset and or converse using text chat on PC. While wandering the galaxy solo, continue to experience chance encounters with strange floating orbs. Community engagement. Soon after the release of No Man's Sky Next, Hello Games has planned its first season of weekly content and community events. This will be free for all players with no mega transactions, take part in community missions, and unlock new rewards and customizations. Players will also be able to interact with Xbox One Mixer streamers by helping or hindering their gameplay. Okay, Galactic Atlas website, we know about. We know about that. Base building. Bases can now be built anywhere on any planet, high in mountains or underwater. Hundreds of new base parts have been added to unlock more creative possibilities. Teleporters can now be built anywhere on the planet surface and the teleporter menu has been reworked for ease of use. Base complexity and size limits have been dramatically increased. Players can own multiple bases, three of them as far as I know, spread across regions, planets, or star systems. Sculpt the terrain around your base with improved terrain manipulator. Third person. The game is fully playable in third or first person, both on foot and in ship. Ship controls in both views now allow for true low flight mode across the surface planets. Communicate with other players using expressive gestures or emotes available from the quick menu. Character customization. You can construct an appearance customizer in your base or freighter to personalize your appearance. You can play as a Gek, a Viking, a Corvax, a Traveler, or an Anomaly. It's awesome. Freighter enhancements. Assemble and upgrade a fleet of frigates, each specialized to excel in combat, exploration, trade, industry, or support. Command your frigates from the bridge of your freighter to complete real-time fleet missions. Call on your fleet for assistance in space battles or deploy them to help you explore a specific system. Improved freighter base building allows for a truly custom capital ship. All core substances and resources have been reworked and rebalanced to increase consistency and realism. Planetary resources have been expanded, with unique substances and items to find and refine based on the planet's biome and weather, as well as cellar classification. Deployable tech can be picked up and carried in your inventory. Crafting is deeper with the addition of buildable refineries. Convert raw substances into more valuable materials for constructing advanced products and base parts. Definitely one of the coolest things in the update so far. Um, you might see that in some of the background gameplay that I'll be uploading uh, of my first uh, initial playthrough of No Man's Sky Next. Um, the definitely being able to pick up, like, uh, being able to put down a signal scanner and just pick it up and not have to build it anymore, it's definitely cool. Experiment with refinery recipes to discover all the possibilities. Procedural tech. Discover unique procedurally generated technology to upgrade your exosuit, multi-suit, and starships. That right, that's right. All the technology that, uh, uh, that you upgrade with, you know, upgrade your multi-tool and suit and stuff, it's all procedurally generated, so the stats are all procedural, which... Makes the game more stat-based. Thank you. It's awesome. Analysis Visor Enhancements. Quickly locate terrain resources and buried products with the improved Analysis Visor. Set short-term goals by tagging the markers of points of interest. Pinpoint your exact location on a planet with visible latitude and longitude coordinates. Missions and Structure. The opening section of the game has been overhauled, introducing new story elements and an early taste of advanced gameplay features as well as a new mission chain for players with bases. In Envoys in Space Station offer rewards and tributes to high-ranking mem members of their guilds. Mission types have been expanded with Photography, Feeding, Freighter Attack, and Defense, Archaeology, and Specialized Hunting Missions now available. Graphical Enhancements. Dramatically improved visuals bring more life than ever to planetary landscapes. Experience a greater sense of planetary scale with massively improved draw distance. It's freaking amazing. 
Deep improvements to planetary terrain generation create more varied alien environments featuring high mountains and more navigatable cave systems. Planet surfaces now look more interesting and representative from orbit. The universe is more diverse with ever with color palette variety, dense forests and large trees, and abandoned and empty systems. New dynamic tessellation enables detailed terrain height maps without sacrificing performance. All right. Hazardous storms look more dramatic with new biome-specific particle effects. Significantly more detail added to ship, NPC, and building textures. Planetary rings of asteroids and improved space visuals make space more beautiful than ever. Explore vast oceans of visually improved bodies of water with new continental terrain shapes. Dynamic volumetric clouds create more realistic planetary atmospheres. Increased quality clouds will be rolling out in parity to all platforms very soon. So if the clouds don't look 100% like the trailer because you don't have an Xbox One X, they'll eventually be coming to the other systems. That trailer was apparently on Xbox One X or something like that. But the clouds still do look really good. UI overhaul. The HUD has been remixed to both improve readability and reduce intrusion on the gameplay area. The visual location of messages is better prioritized to help emphasize critical information. Quality of life improvements make the build menu and the quick menu more efficient. There's a couple bugs with the build menu and the quick menu, so I'll know about efficient right now, but eventually probably. Inventory stacks can now be split for a more streamlined experience. Um, About splitting stacks, a lot of people will find this confusing. Um, When you pick up something in your inventory because uh, you can actually pick it up and drag and drop it when you pick it up you use the um it'll tell you at the bottom of the screen how you split the stacks so just in case players with freighters can summon any of their personal starfleet at any time maintenance and repair interactions have had a visual and functional overhaul repairs now take place in world and can be carried out in the incremental stages Players interested in salvage can repair damaged ships and multi-tools by gathering the right components and fixing damaged slots. Space Station Marketplace. Purchase all of your Space Station exploration needs in the huge new Space Station Marketplace. Exploration, Fauna, and Flora. Find and excavate buried ruins with the terrain manipulator to unearth locked ancient treasures. Use the terrain manipulator to locate buried technology modules and turn the salvaged components into new base parts with the blueprint analyzer. Some creature types will herd together, grazing and fleeing from danger as a group. Creatures now respond more enthusiastically to being fed, recognizing you as a friend and alerting nearby creatures to the food source. Creature movements now appear more natural and intelligent with improved AI and entirely revamped animations. They look very nice. Sentinel behaviors and animations have been way improved. Players can stand their ground in combat or take advantage of the time between reinforcement waves to escape and find a place to avoid drone scans and searches. Find navigation data and use it in the overhauled signal booster to locate planetary structures. Survive the threat of new hazardous flora and fauna. Be careful if you touch the eggs. Yes, the eggs are in the game. Yes, be careful. I recommend probably not doing it. Audio. Creature voices are now more diverse and NPC vocals have had updated to match their new set of animations. New Foley for the player character, or Folly, not sure, is audible through the game. Ship sounds and combat audio have been improved. The game soundtrack is expanded with several new music tracks composed by Paul Weir. Paul Weir, you're a genius. The music sounds amazing. Patch notes. These are the legit patch notes. Notes. So they're going to be super small or super big. Are you ready? I'm going to fly through them. Okay. Third person, third person camera for walking, jetpacking, swimming, and in-ship flight. New player models, completely reworked animation system. New animation for players as well as NPCs and creatures. System and animations for gestures. Character customization. Player character turns to look at points of interest. New get in, out of vehicle effect. Interactions show the player character where appropriate. Warping in ship is in third person. Reside, re, re, Resized various deployable tech to better fit third-person mode. Missions. Real-time missions. Scheduled missions. Multiplayer missions. Completely overhauled tutorial. New mission types. Photography, feeding, freighter combat, archaeology, and specialized hunting missions. Guild envoy missions. Bases. Bases can be built anywhere. Players can own multiple bases, like I said up to three. Hundreds of new base parts. Increased base complexity size limits. Joint base building. Improved teleporting and selection between teleport destinations. Improved terrain editor modes and options to be more intuitive. Toned down saturation intensity of palette choices for coloring base building parts. Base terrain editing now stops when you hit the limit rather than overriding old edits. Bases can now be completely deleted. Improved system for placing base building parts. Increased base building radius and made it expandable. Disabled base auto uploading and added manual controls. 
enable downloading more than one external base from other players. Freighters. Frigate fleets feature. Frigate fleets feature. Say that five times fast. Including missions, upgrade system, system combat, and exploration assistance. Overhauled base building inside player freighters. Reworked and added procedural textures to Freighter Bridge Hologram Planet. I don't know what that means. Redesigned path from freighter hangar to bridge. Improved speed of airlock doors opening on freighters. Crafting and resources. Reworked and rebalanced all core substances and resources. Legitimately, you will not find zinc. You will not find plutonium. You will not find platinum. They all have different names and there's tons of new stuff. Deployable tech can now be picked up. Added refinery-based crafting system. Added craftable ammunition. Improved damage falloff on mining beam. The UI. Additional markers visible in Analysis Visor. Points of interest can be tagged from Analysis Visor. If you're in a squad of people, the if you're in a squad of people, the person that everybody joined, um, when they tag a location, it shows up for everybody, but only if they tag that location. Only the one person. Latitude and longitude displayed on Analysis Visor. Improved HUD layout, HUD lines dynamically hidden with the corresponding UI elements. Improved notification layout. Improved build menu. Improved quick menu. Inventory stack splitting. New repair interface. All player owned ships can now be summoned. Added system for repairing damaged inventory slots. Backpack showing in your inventory will now match customized character backpack. Backpack bars display hazard protection and life support. In ship map now highlights enemies. Improved docking indicators when flying. Completely reworked shop UI. Nanites no longer take up inventory slots. Scanning ships show their slot count. Save slots are now sorted by timestamp. Galaxy map can show multiple markers for each system. Added dynamic suit protection inventory icon. Inventory full notifications now take into account cargo slots. Fixed camera voxel to star voxel and galactic map. Can pin base building recipes on the HUD. Added danger icons to tentacle plants. Improved tech and product pinning with more detailed guides to obtaining the build requirements. Improved compass. Improved HUD marker icons for objects of interest. Added multiplayer text chat on PC. Wow. Graphics and planet generation. Improved fog and increased draw distance. New terrain generation system for improved na navig navigability. N n yeah. And more varied Earth-like and alien landscapes. Reduced situations where cave props can be spawned above ground. Improved particle systems fading out over distance. Added support for extremely large biome props. Improved and increased variety of cloud, clouds and cloud shadows seen from space. The clouds' shadows are so cool. Improved planet surface rendering from space. Improved terrain, lo uh, improved terrain loads and visuals when flying in from space. Improved color selection during planet generation. Improved sky and fog color selection. Tightened tri triplanar texture blend areas. New color mapping system to create more varied and atmospheric visuals, improved tree density, tree size variation, added empty systems with no current inhabitants, added abandoned systems with derelict space stations, improved storm visuals, improved textures for ships, NPCs, and buildings, added planetary ring systems, increased asteroids density in space, improved space visuals, added support for larger bodies of water, character shadows for first-person gameplay, adjusted... Uh, uh, TAA settings to reduce shadow blurring on terrain. Added particle effect when flying above water. Splash particle effects. Inventory and pause menu now uses depth of field to blur in-game camera. Balanced model, wait, balanced intensity of lights in the Atlas station. Updated model of hologram, backpack, and suit upgrade chamber. Improved water surface and foam shaders. Improved water reflections to better match terrain. Improved imposter visuals and lighting to better match nearby objects. Switch objects and terrain fading to use blue noise to give smoother transitions. Improved compression on some textures generated in game. Improved texture, te in, whoa, improved terrain texture blending and selection. Improved sand and cave color selection. Improved beach blending and visuals. Brightened cave interiors, especially at night. Improved storm effect fading as you enter buildings. Oh, added gun model for ships. Added uh, new high quality tree models and textures. Fix an issue with landing pad UVs. Improved drone, squ uh, quad, and walker models for the Sentinels. New drone texture effects. Added more varied underwater and underground objects. Improved appearance of gravitino balls. Major improv improvements to biome object placement. Improved crystal placement. Improved marker distances for gameplay props. Added terrain objects which cannot be destroyed by player ships. Improved colors, brightness, and saturation of creature textures. Tweaked rock textures. Improved scale of underground objects. 
Tweaked poison blob particle effects, improved cave biome glowing plant lights, optimized cave biome prop performance, improved bushes and underwater plants, improved asteroid texture balance, improved abandoned slimy diffuse colors, improved underfoot dust effects, improved heavy air in caves, improved scale of gameplay plants, improved toxic grass diffuse texture. Tweaked mountain fragments on certain biomes. Improved vertex displacement on flags to make them wave nicer. Improved smoke and damage effects on ships to distress beacons. Modified frequency of world stones that creates underground props and damaged machinery. Word stones, not world stones. Improved rare gem collection effect. Improved ship trail effects. New engine effect for ships. Space stations and buildings. Overhaul space station interior, new space station marketplace, new style for stairs in space station, redesigned look of teleporter in space station, added variation to building interior layouts and props, added a small ramp to the drop pod for easier access, improved building frequency, added LOD system for base building parts to increase draw distances and complexities. Ugh, wow. I'm lightheaded. Exploration, fauna, and flora. New underground ruins building type. What? Dope. I haven't read all these, by the way. This is where I stopped earlier. Buried technology modules and blueprint analysis. Overhauled signal booster and navigation data input. Procedurally generated technology, procedurally generated products. Improved creature pathfinding. Improved creature response to feeding. Herd behavior for creatures. Improved scales and maximum sizes of creatures. Improved sentinel drone behavior, proximity indicator, and escape gameplay. Improved matching of creature body parts to their role. Copyright improvements, new hazardous fauna, new hazardous flora, improved scan ranges for biome-specific plants, added new armored drone type, ooh, must use the terrain editor to mine resource deposits, improved colossus speed and fuel tanks consumption, different ship classes use different amounts of launch fuel, interesting, new name generation system for planet ships weapons creatures, awesome, they actually have names, they're not unpronounceable, most of them. Increased variety in creature descriptions. Nada and Polo's tasks are now tracked in the mission log. Fancier descriptions for planetary weather conditions. Change starting exosuit inventory size. Increase the number of exosuit cargo slots available to, available to purchase. Increase crafted item stack size in the exosuit to 5. Controls in combat. Climbing traversal, more challenging and re uh, climbing traversal is more challenging and rewarding, apparently. Added ability to slide down cliffs, player movement is more dynamic, air resistance simulation for jetpack navigation, multi-tool manual holstering, unholstering, ship weapons can be used against ground targets, splash damage added to ship weapons when used against ground targets, improve low, f low level flight with destruction of terrain objects with which you collide, fix jitter on physics debris pieces, stopped player colliding with tiny rocks on scorched biomes, crit points on sentinel drones and quads, Combat scope module for the multi-tool. Personal force field module for the multi-tool. New grenade types. Improved weapon alternative mode, also with better HUD display. Sentinel drones can repair quads and walkers in battle. Whoa. Improved sentinel quadruple behavior, pouncing evade. I saw that. It hurt. Improved walker behavior with different attack modes. Extra armor plating added to sentinels arriving in combat. Fixed placement of off-planet markers and improved pulse drive flight towards marked destinations. Which is awesome. Now when you pulse drive towards a location, it doesn't put you to the planet first and then you have to fly to the location it puts you all the way around the planet so you get there quicker amazing audio updated creature vocals new third person folly for player and npcs additional loading music and new track when starting normal mode revised ship engine sounds added low flying ship sounds revised underwater sounds improved combat audio and overhauled quad and walker audio new npcs vocals and new friggin audio stability balancing fixing fixed a number of issues with atmospherics and water rendering on the horizon fixed temp Text clipping issues with some languages. Fixed certain cases were opening the settings menu. Silently changed resolution. Fixed for several several uncommon out of memory crashes. Fixed transition between lighting when flying to space. Fixed and improved a number of sim situations for flattening terrain around buildings. Fixed cases where terrain tiles could be missing or slow to appear while flying around or into a planet. Fixed crash freighters having underground treasure too low to mine down to. F prevented dead planets ever having atmospheres. Prevented some story critical building buildings being placed underwater, fixed lighting issues with double-sided leaf shaders, fixed repetitive tiling textures on some foliage leaves, fixed issues while loading some particularly large saves, fixed for superconductive lock bug, voice chat quality and reliability improvements, fixed scan events for players who have managed to go off-grid, fixed for edited terrain regions repeatedly regenerating themselves unnecessarily, fixed rocks showing up as the wrong color on frozen biomes, fixed occasional hang in asynchronous I.O., 
fix for non-instance LODs, added geometry streaming system, made nu numerous memory savings to improve overall stability, made the damaged machinery turn off the sparks and smoke effect when you finish the interaction, rebalanced AI ship damage, rebalanced uh, or balanced ship to ground target damage, high performance 1440p and high quality uh, 2160p rendering modes added for the Xbox One X. Made numerous grass and foliage rendering optimizations. Optimized per frame render memory usage. Memory usage. Optimized various engine components using async compute. Various optimizations. Various miscellaneous bug fixes. That is No Man's Sky next. That is freaking amazing. Okay, and this doesn't even talk about like all the secret stuff. Like it doesn't talk about all the new stuff you can craft at the refinery. All the new upgrades. The procedural generation is completely different. All the new interactions with NPCs. All the uh, interactions with players. Just the new stuff, the secrets, the keys that you can find. Yes, there's keys. I don't know what they go to yet. Um, there's there's so much stuff. Now, uh, I'm just going to tell you, I've had two bugs now where I've had to restart a save multiple times. Just be careful when playing a game from, that you started by yourself and then jumping into a joined game and then trying to go back to your other game because the missions, pay attention to your missions that you have. If you have a mission that says do something at your base, make sure you do it at your base before you go off to another system with a friend. Uh, before you join a friend's game, I mean. Because I have, me and my group of friends have had the glit uh, glitch where you cannot use the space station teleporter from your friend's system or any system to get back to your original base. So if you have a mission that's at your original base, you're basically screwed. To the point where you either have to go all the way across the galaxy warping to get back or you have to restart. Um, so just be careful when you're playing, um, when you start a game and then you join a friend's game. Um, just be aware of what missions you're on and what missions you have. Um, there's no fixes for anything yet because everything is so new we don't know. But that's it for me in this video. I will be streaming. I know you probably couldn't focus on any of the patch notes because I was reading them so fast. But that's kind of the point. It's a thing on the channel. I had to do the patch notes, but I had to play the game. I wasn't about to do a patch notes video as soon as the game launched. I was playing the game for sure. I'm having a blast. It's freaking amazing what they've done. There's so much. I have so many questions still. I've only I played for about six hours. Um, the last hour and a half, two hours have been me trying to fix the glitches that have been happening. Um, these same glitches happened with Atlas Rises a year ago, so hopefully they get them fixed quickly like they did then. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe for more No Man's Sky news, gameplay, uh, and coverage. My name has been Just Jared. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one. See you in the stars.